Some $760 million in contracts were signed on Tuesday at the Ministry of Home Affairs to strengthen and enhance the work of Guyana's joint services. These contracts were awarded to NK Engineering Services, ACE Construction Service and Investment, Brick and Mortar Construction Service, Singh and Son Construction, Advanced Engineering, AYN Construction, Compras Industrial Services, and Angloku. All contracts awarded are expected to be completed within a four to six month period. A total of $129.5 million in contracts were signed to construct four command operation centers for the Guyana Police Force in regions two, five, six, and 10. Deputy Commissioner Acting Ravindradat Budram welcomed the initiative, noting that it will boost the police's crime-fighting strategies. It will aid the police in crime-fighting in terms of um, te technology, um, cameras in various regions, and will aid the police in terms of investigations. So we welcome the initiative and um, we are prepared to work with the persons to have this complete and so we can have our crime fighting strategy be boost. We have a network where we share information, shared intelligence, and therefore from these command centers, everybody will benefit, entire country. Two contracts were signed to improve the security fences and living quarters of senior officers at the Lusignan prison to the tune of $145 million. Director of Prisons Acting Nicolan Elliott said the new living quarters will benefit over 150 ranks who reside outside of Georgetown. The new fence will also enhance the prison security. Um, over the period, we recognized that the accommodation for staff was lacking and this would be able to boost um, staff morale in terms of those persons who are living outside of Georgetown. The security fence will further enhance the security of the prisons thus aiding us with our daily operational um, activities within the prison. The self-contained rooms will cater for pregnant officers and other members. Additionally, some $485.6 million in contracts were awarded for the construction of a Wales fire station, the procurement of 148 fire hydrants, and five firefighting vehicles. Chief Fire Officer Gregory Wickham expressed gratitude for the continued support of the government of Guyana. He then explained the importance of the awarded contracts to the protection of property and life from the destruction of fire. First of all, for the establishment of a fire station in the Wales area, that fire station there would service the, uh, the showbiz facilities. It would also lend support and do firefighting to members in the neighboring community. And so it will work on a dual purpose. And so that there is uh, indicative of what the fire service wants to do and us wanting to lend the support to members of the public so that we can ensure that they have their safe, uh, safe communities and they're protected from destruction by fire. As it relates to the hydrants, it is very important also because that's a part of the process that we are doing. We are launching out to ensure that we make uh, particularly new housing schemes safe and they must have the capability to allow us to do firefighting in event of there being a fire. So those two, we are very glad that uh, those contracts were honored and we are looking forward for a timely uh, completion of these. Meanwhile, Minister of Home Affairs Robeson Ben urged contractors to complete the capital projects efficiently and in a timely manner. We want our projects to be delivered on time on specification and on quality and we want that our workers or people who are working on these projects to be maintained and supported in a safe manner in a safe manner we don't want industrial accidents 